Hey, what's going on guys? Arex here. Welcome back to another video for Animal Crossing New Horizons. And in this one, I want to talk some more about customizing your island, but more specifically about custom paths. I want to share with you some really awesome designs that you yourself might want to check out if you want to try and sort of, you know, theme up your island and step up your uh, creative game and just in general make the place look really, really awesome. Because, you know, you can place things wherever you want. You can place your houses and your, you know, shops and things like that. But I feel like when you really start laying down paths, whether that be, you know, pre-made ones or whether that be the custom ones, then the town really starts to get its personality, things start to fall in place, and it just looks really, really awesome. My town is 100% still a work in progress. I've got a long way to go, but I now have a clear vision in my mind as to what I want to achieve, and I'm now working towards that. And as part of that, of course, it involves finding some really cool paths. You can, of course, once you unlock the uh, Island Designer app, you have the pre-made paths, like the stone and the sand and the dirt and whatnot, but you can also download some creative, some custom paths that lots of people online have created, and you can then use them to achieve some rather awesome and unique looks for your island. So, with that being said, turn our attention to the first one. This one comes from Eren from uh, Shibuya, and this, of course, is a selection of tarmac roads, typically Japanese roads. I mean, of course, you know, tarmac roads can be anywhere, but these ones specifically have Japanese characters with them if you want to create those sort of Japanese-style crossings, very reminiscent of those sort of rural Japanese towns in, say, anime, or just Japan in general, especially if you pair this nicely with the appropriately themed stone wall, and you then start laying down these very grid-like layouts for your town. That is basically what I'm working towards. These walls, they need a lot of materials. I've got quite a long way to go. But as you can see, I've already started to lay out the foundation around my town hall. And I'm then going to basically be creating pathways off of that to determine where I want all of my villages to be. I'm then going to relocate all of those. And then eventually, I will, of course, have all these pathways, all these roads, all these crossings to link in between it. You can then, of course, take that to the next level. And you can throw on things like the uh, vending machines, which are very, very present. If ever you guys have sort of, you know, seen Japan or been to Japan, you'll know that vending machines are basically on every single corner. You can then throw up some of those telegraph poles and you can really start to get that cool Japanese look for your village. Moving on from there, we then have a rather awesome, kind of like, this almost sort of gives me that uncharted feel. It's basically like a sort of mossy brick layout for the ground, but there's these kind of cleverly designed pieces that have grass seeping over the sides of them. So it definitely looks like the sort of thing you would find in like, an adventure game, something like Uncharted or Tomb Raider, where you've been sneaking through the jungle and suddenly like you clear all the leaves and there's this stone tablet, because there's technically speaking like a little uh, button in the middle of it, the very sort of central piece. But outside of that, it just looks like a, you know, a brick pathway that's been laid in the middle of a forest where the grass has started to kind of, you know, seep in. There's like moss working through some of the bricks. It's a really cool design. And especially if you want to kind of create like a big sort of foresty woody area around it, maybe throw down some stone statues, create this look almost as if it's been there for many, many years. This is definitely a very cool design. This one comes from Pen from uh, Tokyo, <laughs> written in that rather interesting way. Again, go over to the creator code and you'll find all the different pieces. I haven't used every single tile in this instance, but there are actually sort of various different permutations if you don't want to have like the repeat design. There's lots of central tiles, there's lots of outside tiles. Basically, everything you need over that creator code if you want to create some sort of uncharted Tomb Raider-esque hidden stone pathway amidst your forest. Then moving on from there, this one will be for those of you guys that are trying to sort of recreate that sort of Japanese Zen garden if you want some stepping stones. I mean, this could also go anywhere else, but this one comes from Nene, or not sure how you're supposed to pronounce that one. Coming from Kiwi, again, create a code over on the left, but this one has a variety of different tiles for different stone stepping stones. So what I've done for that in my island is basically created this sort of stone pathway, this sort of snaking pathway from the bridge to my house. And I've then started to build or plant loads of bamboo so that it kind of snakes around it. Obviously, again, there's lots more stuff I want to do here. You can then get some of the bamboo themed items to start really creating this sort of nice zen garden with the stepping stones to create this path. Alternatively, moving on from there, another one for you guys, if you're looking for, say, something slightly more conventional that, again, would go quite nicely in a forest, just some nice dark planks of wood, which you can then, you know, again, snake between trees or kind of create them, like, up to maybe, like, a shed or, like, some kind of, you know, slightly more countryside feel island, then you have a load of different wooden planks here, which, again, have the edge parts, so if you want to sort of create that frayed look to them, there's even a few broken planks if you want to try and, you know, make it look like it's not so regimented and you want to try and sort of break up the look of it. You then have these wooden planks from Merley on Serene. And again, create a code over the left. Check that out. There's various different panels for all the different angles you could need. And then finally, the last one comes from Moni over on Peach Island. This one is 
basically for the Harvest Moon fans out there, the Stardew Valley fans out there, if you effectively want to create a uh, vegetable garden, vegetable patch on your island, then, I mean, yes, you could just go and create the regular dirt pathways, but the nice thing about this one is that it's designed in such a way that when you lay it down, it kind of looks like you've got these flower beds or these kind of dirt beds that you can then plant seeds in and you know if you wanted to go one step further you could then put a fence around it and drop your turnips on there so there's kind of a storing place for them and it makes it look like they've come out the ground either way if you want to create some sort of like vegetable patch some kind of farming area somewhere in your village then this will be a good one for laying down that anyway that's it for the time being let's quick look at a few of the custom designs that i've been using in my village to try and sort of create different looks and feels again credit for all of those goes to the creators i will also link their respective reddit posts or tweets down below depending on where of course they came from definitely go show them some love but also go and check out their creator codes download that stuff and start making your island look pretty awesome if you guys have got any other crazy different designs that you have seen that maybe you think i should check out definitely tell me about them in the comments down below if you want to see more of this stuff we could of course do more videos on this i've got some more design tips and some more design stuff that i want to share with you so definitely keep it locked for plenty more animal crossing videos Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arax Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there, the team's in there. If you guys wanna chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.